In 1873, the first documented coal mine in North Dakota began operating near the ghost town of Sims. By the turn of the century, coal was in demand. It was a necessary resource needed to heat the homes in the newly settled and nearly treeless state. Most of North Dakota's first coal mines were underground mines. Beginning in the 1920s, surface coal mines became economically feasible with the advent of the steam shovel. The W.J. Carrick mine was one of many surface coal mines to spring up in Morton County. Very little is known about the Carrick coal mine. It may have also gone by the names of the Goppert and Trity, the P.F. Groft, or the Leach mine. As evident by historical aerial imagery, mining began prior to 1938 and ceased by 1957. In 2018, almost 1,300 feet of dangerous high walls, 40 feet in height, remained on this 20-acre site. The Carrick site is near Dunzig Dam, a popular recreational area. What are we looking at, Bruce? It's metal sequoia. How old is it? 55 million. 60. Wilson Construction of Scranton, North Dakota began reclamation work in June of 2018. Wilson primarily used three Cat 627G scrapers to backfill the high wall with spoil material. Machine control aided in achieving precise design elevations. Approximately 300 feet of perforated PVC pipe was installed as a tow drain to capture clean water from the coal seam. Improving poor quality, stagnant water from the mine pit was a top priority for landowners Mike and Denise Gross. Water now flows through a solid outlet pipe into a constructed pond used by livestock and wildlife. A waterway and a second pond upstream were also constructed to ensure a fresh water supply. In preparation for a tree planting, two one-acre areas were deep-tilled and fenced. Under a separate contract, the Morton County Soil Conservation District planted around 800 trees and shrubs in the spring of 2019. The final cost for the Carrick Reclamation work was $173,912.